channel again. In the previous video, uh, we have seen how to add our AWS Cloud account in Dynatrace for monitoring purpose. Now, if or by default, once we have added our AWS Cloud for monitoring in Dynatrace, it monitors all the services by default. But if you want to limit access to AWS Cloud from Dynatrace API, we can get it done by editing this instance or in Dynatrace, this AWS instance is nothing but our AWS account. So in settings, in settings, we have option cloud and virtualization and in AWS, we have added this AWS account and we can change by default monitoring option from this edit button in front of this instance, select on this pane icon. Now here, what we have to do is instead of monitor all resources, I have to select here monitor resources selected by tags. Okay. So what it could be, what it does is Dynatrace only monitors those resources where these tags are added by us in AWS in AWS resources or to AWS resources. Like here I can add suppose this is one tag monitor Dynatrace and value is suppose production. Okay. So this is one tag that I have added here. And I have enabled monitor resources selected by tags. I'll click on save here. As of now, I have not added this tag anywhere in any resources in our AWS cloud. So that setting is saved in Dynatrace. Now, what I will do, I will create one EC2 instance. I will launch one instance select any kind of OS I'm selecting T2 micro window server I'm going with default options default storage now here I will add that tag okay suppose First tag I have added windows and another tag I am adding this monitor Dynatrace. And here it is production. Make sure you are adding the proper tags. Whatever tags you have added in Dynatrace, that tag should be added to your resources in AWS cloud. This is the tag, very important for Dynatrace monitoring perspective. Now click on security group. As of now, I'll select one security group here, all traffic open. Click on review and launch and launch. Okay. Make sure you have that key pair with you to access that server. If not, you can create a new key pair. Click on launching launch instances. This is the one instance I, I have created here. Now I will create one more instance here, and that instance without that same tag, without production tag. So I will click on launch instances. I will select the same Windows server. I will select T2 Micro. Default options default storage suppose this is another tag and I will add one more tag here that suppose that should be monitor Dynatrace you can give here any name 
for this tag but make sure you are adding this name in your dynatrace settings tags so i have added this tag only and not this tag dynatrace monitor dynatrace and value should be staging click on create security group select existing security group select launch make sure you have that key pair with you and launch instances click on new instances okay now what the servers i have created here let's check in dynatrix monitoring dynatrix may take some minutes to detect all that resources I will add one S3 bucket. Click on create bucket. My bucket name should be anything. You can give your bucket name as anything. I will select Ohio region. I will select default settings for this, and I will add tag here. So this tag is very important for Dynatrace perspective. Value should be production only. Key is monitor dynatrace and value is production. This tag is important. You can add multiple tags here, but you should add this same tag for that resources whichever you want to monitor from dynatrace. And I will click click on create bucket. Sorry, I can't give. Per get letters. I think this same bucket is already created somewhere. Give a unique name to your bucket. Click on create bucket. Now I have created one bucket in Ohio region. Let's check it. What is it showing? So now I can see here one EBS volume, which means that one server is detected by Dynatrace, and we have created two instances in our AWS cloud, and Dynatrace is only monitoring one server. Why? Because we have added that tag, that production tag, to only one instance. I'll check in host if I can see that host. Sorry, these hosts are manually added. So in this Dynatrace cloud integration, I can see one instance in US East to be. And that is Windows instance I can see here. This tag I can see here, 
monitor dynatrix production. There are two tags, name tag and monitor dynatrix tag. So these tags are detected by dynatrix and this is monitoring this resource. We can also see one bucket, S3 bucket. Let's wait for a couple of more minutes. I will upload something here. We have to wait a couple more minutes. Yes, here it is. Here I can see this bucket also. So this way we can limit Dynatrace from exploring or from fetching. Or by this way we can limit access or limit API calls to AWS service. By this way, we can limit API calls from Dynatrace to AWS cloud using this tag. Using these tags, based using this tag. So by this way, we can limit api calls to aws clouds using this tag based monitoring in dynatrace so that's it in this video thank you for watching please like and subscribe am channel